Hello everyone, what's up, it's Zero here, and welcome back to the channel. So, this is the start of my brand new tutorial development, simulator development tutorial series. So, welcome to part one. In this part, we're going to be looking at creating our data store and creating our tools that will give players strength at points per click. So, let's get right into that. First thing you're going to need to do is insert a new script in the server script service. And you're going to want to name this data store. So now you're going to need to type local ds equals game colon get service data store service colon get data store user data. This is just to access the data store service and the data store that all the data will be saved in. So game dot players dot player added colon connect function player local leader stats equals instance instance dot new folder inside of the player leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats so this whenever a player joins it will put the leader stats folder inside of the player now we need to say local strength equals instance dot new int value inside of leader stats strength dot name is equal to strength this is so whenever a player joins inserts the strength value or your strength stat into your leader stats now we need to say a local key equals player dash dot dot player dot user id the then local save data equals ds colon get async key so the key is basically the access code the code for what data we're looking for we use player dot user id so that even if the player changes their name whenever they join off that account it saves their data and won't wipe their data when they get a name change then when we're saying local save data equals ds colon get async key we're searching the data store for whatever data is held inside of that code that we just give gave the script so now we're going to say if save data so if there is data inside that code if the player has saved data then strength dot value equals save data one so it's going to get the first value in our save data and set that to the strength value so if the player does not have any save data if they've never joined the game before we are just going to immediately make a save data for the player so that we can tell when a player has and hasn't been in the game before so local data so to save equals strength dot value ds colon set async key data to save so now that we've done that we need to make it so that the game will save data whenever the player leaves and rejoins so we're gonna save game dot players dot player removing colon connect function player local key equals player dash dot dot player dot user id local data to save equals player dot leader stats dot strength dot value ds colon set async key data to save so now when we click play we should have our leader stats in the top right with a strength value that's odd oh typo if you if yours doesn't show up open up go to view and click output open this and look for wherever we have a red error that's something like this then you can just see like here i just small typo fix that then now it should work yep as you can see now we have our strength stat in the top right so now for our tool so you're going to want to insert a tool into the starter pack and then name this weight. We are now going to insert a new part, put it in the tool, and then rename that handle. 
Now what I'm going to do is insert a module script and we are going to name this settings. Now in here we're going to want to set it up like that and first type strength per click so s where we can just say spc is equal to 1. Now we're going to want to say cooldown is equal to 1. So the cooldown is how long you have to wait in between clicks and then your SPC. Or you can really call this whatever you want. We can call it strength per click is equal to 1. Now we're going to insert a new script and just name this main. Now first thing we're going to say is local underscore m is equal to require script.parent.settings now we can say local local db equals false local tool equals script.parent local player equals tool.parent.parent now we're going to say tool.activated colon connect function if not db then db equals true player dot leader stats dot strength dot value equals player dot leader stats dot strength dot value plus underscore m dot strength per click now we can say wait underscore m dot cooldown and then say db is equal to false. So now that we have, make sure we have strength per click set to at least one and then cooldown set to however long you want the player to have to wait in between clicks. Now if we join the game and click, we gain one strength per click with a one second cooldown. Then if we go over here and just publish the rope, if we go game settings, go over to options and enable API access and click save. Now we should be able to click play and the data store should be working properly inside of studio. So now if we start clicking with wait, we obviously gain strength. If we then leave the game by clicking stop and then rejoin by clicking play again, you can see we keep our strength. So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this part and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.